de Cowboys, the one individual who took me so long to convince to play fantasy football. Oh, David, fantasy football sucks. I just want to enjoy the game. Oh, fantasy football. I don't know why you guys even play that stupid game. Now he just can't get enough of it. He's more addicted on this thing than... Stink on shit? Flies on shit? How does it go? Regardless, loved his three keepers. Loved his three keepers. Kept three running backs. Chris Johnson, Darren Sproles, Darren McFadden. Of which may bite him in the ass because he only took one running back in his whole draft. 19th round, too. The only absolute steal I've seen in this draft so far was he took Rob Gronkowski in the third round. Which translates into the sixth round if you include the three keepers. And we all absolutely just let him just drop. Miles Austin stole him in the fourth round. Stole him in the fourth round, quite frankly. I just think both him and Dez are both going to have great seasons. I like Miles more because of the consistency, but uh, Dez definitely for the upside. Kenny Britt, 15th round. Like it. I like it. I'm sorry. Kenny Britt uh, is only out one game. At the time, we didn't know that, but you know what? Regardless, he rolled the dice and it looks like it's going to pay out for a 15th round pick. Felix Jones, 19th round. You know what? There's nothing wrong with that. DeMarco Murray, if he doesn't stay healthy, Felix is going to go in. And if you've been watching any preseason football, Felix Jones is running that ball like a maniac. He got Tebow. 13th round, he just snagged him before I did. <clears throat> Tebow's going to break out again. Who we can? It's just a matter of time before Mark Sanchez loses that job. All in all, his draft really, really didn't look too bad. He started off with Eli Manning in the first round, took Andrew Luck and Carson Palmer. It's, those are good quarterback not great in any means because who knows if Eli's going to throw for another 5,000 yards because in all fairness he did kind of sort of half-ass fantasy choke when he won the Super Bowl Carson better take his head out of his ass to be honest with you because he could be better but uh, it's up to that rate of receiving core he's no really big names Ugh. really kicker in the seventh round really Look, I know Sebastian Janikowski got you 20 points in one game because he bombed four 50-yard field goals, which gets you five points. But, dude, he's a kicker. There were plenty of fish in the sea at that point. Richard Mendenhall, Brenton Pettigrew were still on the board. I would even would have taken Patrick Willis over a kicker. In saying that, quarterback grades, you know what? I like Eli Manning. I don't love Eli Manning, but I do like him. I like Andrew Luck. Don't love Carson Palmer, but they got nothing but upside. Quarterbacks aren't strong, but uh, they're there. B. Solid B. If you're playing a fantasy game and you're going up against somebody who's got Chris Johnson, Darren Sproles, and Darren McFadden, and you do not give them an A or running for your life, then, you're, then you don't know fantasy football. A plus for those three running backs. Percy Harvin, Miles Austin, Kenny Britt. Those are three viable starters. Denarius Moore is all upside. Mario Manningham is all your mediocre bet. And Devon Bess is a good option out of Miami. Lord, I, uh, I hate to say this, but wide receivers, uh, A-. minus. Rob Gronkowski, absolute steal in the third round. Absolute steal. But guess what? Yeah, it all up. You know why? No backup. You only drafted one. You only drafted one. Cover your ass. Cover your ass. I love Gronk, I love where he got him, but you know what, tight ends, A-. minus. After all things were said and done, I had you at an A- minus grade for a uh, team, but uh, that kicker in the seventh round too early, I can't respect that. B-plus team grade, final. There's your bottom five. Tune in next time on This Week with Ura, where we will do the top five, including... <laughs>